darling. Apparently he's not turning around. So hello everybody. It's the Scots here. Hi. <laughs> Brian's got his hands all up in the airstream. <sighs> so you may have seen our previous video where we showed you that the coolant container cracked reservoir cracked and um, started leaking coolant all over the place. So tomorrow we have an appointment that we made a while back to take the Airstream in to have the engine basically cleaned up, maintained, see what it might need uh, before our big trip up to Montana next month with it. So Brian's got to get this fixed today so that we can take it to this appointment tomorrow. No pressure. To make matters worse, this is the only day we could sleep in all week, so we slept in till like, I don't know, nine, something like that. It wasn't even that. And uh, made breakfast, took our time. So by the time we got here, it was 1 p.m. And then, what, what happened when we got here at 1 p.m., baby? You didn't remind me to get my keys. I didn't remind you <laughs> to get your keys. Is that it? That's how I remember it. Wait, what happened? My my fellow teammate wasn't there to support me. Oh my god. We got all the way down here. He forgot the keys. Literally to the backed up to where the Jeep is right now. Shh, don't know. And realized that I didn't have my keys. Well, he said Jeep, so here we go. You want to tell him? Oh, sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the unveiling of Priscilla, the 1997 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Elvis's new tow mate. We got a Jeep. A Jeep Jeep. A cheap Jeep. Because we need something to tow behind the Airstream. So this is our new to us 1997 Jeep Cherokee. Still needs to be set up with a lift and with our towing setup for towing behind the Airstream. But look, they look pretty good together, I think. So yeah. Of course, it'd be the other way. Jeep will be behind it. But still, pretty nice. So, that's what it looks like. And we have decided to name it Priscilla because it goes with Elvis. And uh, after Hubby gets work done on this Airstream, he's got to do a couple things on the Jeep also. Um, the front door lock is not working on the driver's side. And... It's a common problem in 97 to 2001 Jeep Cherokees. Sorry, I'm making a shadow on you. So he's going to work on that. He's got all his tools here with him today. Here, oh, here, you might as well see the interior. Ta-ta-da! And uh, then he's just got to replace the light on the left blinker. That's about it. So, he's all in here. All up in it. Working away. I'm just trying to get the grill off so I can get to the coolant reservoir. Yeah, that crack. I don't know, the lighting is so bad trying to see it in there. But it'll get better here soon when he gets the grill off. He got this part off. Airstream. So that's that. I'm going to leave him to his work and just come check on him and give you an update here in a few minutes. You finally got that grill off. <laughs> it's a pain. Yeah. Wow. So now you can see it here. Hold on, I have to try not to trip over anything on my way over. Our yes. coolant overflow reservoir. You can see the huge crack right here. And actually you can see probably where the piece of hail hit is right about here. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's sort of a <laughs> a big circular. <laughs> yeah, it, it was definitely from the hail. And we've lost all our coolant now, as you can see. So. Well, not all of it, but some of it. So, because there's still coolant in the engine itself. Well, yeah. And the radiator, I mean. But the Airstream has its engine maintenance appointment tomorrow, so now the rest should be easy. We hope. <laughs> <laughs>
and uh, I kind of forgot to finish the story, but since we didn't have the keys, oh, yes. he had to drive 45 minutes back and 45 minutes back here again. So now it's like four o'clock and the sun's, the sun's really low. <laughs> so the cheap stuff might end up having to wait, but I think that we'll be able to get this done and drive this thing tomorrow, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I'm very proud of you, Papa Bear. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You like using your tools. That's why I got them. I have no idea what he's doing, but I can hold a camera, so there's that. There is that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Aww. wow, that's that's a big dent. Yeah, it's pretty cracked. In there, yeah. Ugh. Okay, so I know we got two different reservoirs to try. We did, yes. Neither of them is exactly like this one, but we're hoping that one of them will work. Yep, and I'm thinking this one's gonna work just fine. All right. Well, oh, here we go. So it looks like this one's gonna work. Yep, the good thing about this one is you can adjust the mounting bracket. Oh, to fit exactly where you need it? To fit it where you need it. That's good. The yeah. other one's too large. The other one is too big. It would never let us put the grill back on, so. Yeah, this is the other one that we got from O'Reilly's just in case. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is too big. You wouldn't have the, the clearance on, yeah, show them on the grill. Real quick. I would have to re-drill holes to mount it. Yeah, but see how far that sticks out? And it sticks out and the grill comes way all too the way far. right here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad it looks like this other one's going to work. Yeah. So, now we get to install this one. Oh, this looks kind of funny without his face. I know. <laughs> Took his nose off. Look it's on there. I'm sure that's not all of it, but no, not yet. I'm still pretty impressed that we got this far. What's next? Next, I'm going to read the instructions again. Oh. <laughs> you don't like getting caught doing that on camera. No, I don't. I'm just trying to bug you. Is it working? Yep. <laughs> Hubby has good news for us. Well, so far it seems to be working. The temperature's at about 200, 210 degrees right now. And that's about the normal running temperature for this engine. Sometimes it gets up to 220 if we're, you know, going hard. And but uh, right now it's a regular running temperature. There's no leaks. As you can see, the, the reservoir is, I filled it up to about here. And uh, with the engine running now, it's pressure, or it's uh, pushed the uh, fill line up to there. So uh, if it does overflow, it'll run out the bottom. But otherwise it appears to be working just fine. The, the, uh, the coach has been running for about what, 15, 20 minutes now. And uh, so I figured, Let's not waste time while the sun's going down and put the grill back on in the process of putting the grill back on and then I'll put the, uh, the hood back on as well. Are you stepping over all over my stuff? I'm sorry. It's a Good morning everyone. What is this? <laughs> we are back with Elvis today and uh, we are taking him in for his engine maintenance appointment. Right babe? Yay. So. Luckily, the coolant reservoir is all replaced and working. Uh, we ran it for quite some time yesterday and tested it out and everything. So we are now on our way. Uh, I'm gonna be driving the Jeep, AKA Priscilla. 
uh, while Brian here drives the Airstream. <laughs> and uh, we're taking it to a place here in the Springs. Uh, we talked to them, oh, I think it's been three weeks ago now or something before the convergence, right? Yeah. And made this appointment. Um, and they're basically going to just look over the engine and clean it up. It's very dirty, like actually super, super filthy looking and years and years of stuff. It's running pretty darn well, but we're going to have them look at that, um, clean it up, probably do an oil change, change various fluids, um, and just kind of see if there's any maintenance that we need to do. Um, but it's only an engine place, I think, but we'll see. I don't know if there's anything else they can do for us. One of the main things that we want to do, um, besides all of that, before we take it on the road in November is put uh, crossbody seat belts on because it only has lap belts because of its age. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see them back there. <laughs> so we're going to ask them about that. It might be something we can do ourselves too, but I'm really excited to get the engine all tuned up and cleaned up and looked at. So that'll be another really good step towards our big Montana move. So off we go and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Sitting here watching Brian get ready to go and looking at the top. Look at that. Ah, so sad. Looks like it might be almost time to roll. Here we go. I'll see if I can get him to do Airstream update for you guys. That's it for today's Airstream update. <laughs>